First question is this, is there a way to fight <laughs> or disagree in a healthy way? So really, no matter what age you're at in life, we probably all have asked this question, not just students. So basically, a um, little story for you. Last summer, me and Emily, uh, we have a pretty big yard. We have about an acre of yard. And so we have to mow our grass a lot. So <laughs> over this time, our, our mower broke. And it was kind of a bummer. And if you know me, <laughs> I'm not a mechanic by any means. I, uh, I can't fix anything. I don't really want to try. So Emily kept saying, Blake, please take it to the shop, get it fixed, please, because our grass is getting pretty high. But, you know, it's golfing season, and it's, it's <laughs> running season. I have stuff to do, babe. I just, I can't. So I kept pushing it off. So this one day I came home from work, and it's like two weeks now since the grass has been mowed. So, you know, it's, it's high. <laughs> There's things living in our grass. So I come home, and Emily is just sitting out in the grass, just Indian style, just cutting the grass with the scissors. <laughs> You know, just trying to prove a point. I'm like, oh my word, is this how it's gotten to now? Now, I could have went out and just tried to solve this and talk to her and straighten it out, but I'm pretty stubborn. <laughs> so I ran inside and um, <laughs> grabbed my toothbrush and ran back downstairs and said, babe, the grass, it looks amazing. You're doing a great job. Um, when you're finished with this, can you sweep the driveway? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, the doctor said I'll be able to run again, but I'm always going to have this limp. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Listen, fake story. That's not true. That didn't happen. That did not happen. Uh, that, is a not, <laughs> that is a not healthy way to fight, okay? Passive aggressive, that's just not good. So don't do that. But we didn't, we didn't do that. So <laughs> praise the Lord. Just a little joke for you. <laughs> but is there a way to fight or disagree in a healthy way? So each question I'm going to give you, I'm also going to give you a word to take home. Because uh, I know you're not going to remember this message. I get that. That's okay. Um, but I, hopefully, you'll probably ask this question again sometime in your life. And hopefully, by me giving you a word to take home and to, like, to, to think about, you can maybe remember how to apply this and answer this question uh, in a good way. So the first word to think about with uh, is there a way to fight or disagree in a healthy way is surrender. All right, here we go. So I'm going to write this on here. Let's see. Hopefully you can read my writing. Can you see it? Kind of, sort of? Surrender? Okay. <laughs> surrender, it is so important. And what do we need to surrender exactly? Ourselves. We need to surrender ourselves. Most fights between your coworkers, friends, family, it happens because of pride. Okay, like in my relationships, fights are escalated because of pride. That's just, that's just what happens. Surrendering means you're giving up the right for you to win, for you to win. And maybe you're like, well, well Blade, I'm a fighter. I, I need to win. You know, I, don't, I don't lose. Like, she's not going to one-up me. I need to win this thing. I'm not asking you to lose. I'm asking you to surrender. There's a difference. It's time to pull out the white flag <laughs> and surrender. The white flag is a symbol of surrender, ceasefire, or my favorite, battlefield negotiations. So in the middle of the fight, in the middle of the war, you're like, hey, let's talk this out. Let's try to find a solution to end this fight. Okay? So when you surrender your pride, your arrogance, your stubbornness, which I have a lot of, the relationship can win. The relationship can win. Do you want to win the fight with your coworkers, or do you want to win the relationship? Do you want to win the fight with your spouse, or do you want to win the relationship? You're a team. Care for that other person. Proverbs 15, 18 says, a hot-tempered person stirs up conflict, <laughs> but the one who is patient calms a quarrel. And a lot of people probably just said amen. Uh, we all have those hot-tempered people in our lives, and how frustrating is it when you try to go to them to solve an issue, solve a conflict, and all of a sudden, boom, you're fighting about 17 things, and you went to solve one. <laughs> you know, that's just what hot-tempered, short-fused people do. But the one who is patient calms a quarrel. Oh, how healthy is that when we can come across someone who is patient? Like, hey, yeah, we're fighting, but let's just talk this out. I have all day. Let's just, I want to hear your side of the story. I want to get better myself. Let's talk. That calms a quarrel. It is so healthy. Proverbs 13.10 says, where there is strife, there is pride. Didn't we just say that? But wisdom is found in those who take advice. See, God's word says it. When there is fight, strife, division, bitterness, there is pride but wisdom is found in those who take advice. What if we started using phrases like, I was wrong, 
babe, I, I need some help here. You were right. Why don't we start using phrases like that? Oh, yeah, they re it requires humility. <laughs> It requires humility to say those kinds of things. And again, pride is the ingredient in every quarrel. <laughs> it stirs up the conflict. It divides people. And we just don't want that. We need to address relationships with humility. Because pride divides. Humility heals. You can go ahead and put that in your notes. That's a good one. <laughs> pride divides. Humility heals. So how do you fight healthy? You surrender. You're, you're patient. You, you are open to advice. You want to hear the other side of the story. Surrender your stubbornness, your agenda, so the relationship can win. Amen?